Eyewitness Sports right now. The Utica Comets continued with their Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday game schedule tonight, and it was a road trip to the Springfield Thunderbirds, the team that Utica actually just hosted on Saturday and beat 5-1. Utica falls behind 2-0, less than four minutes into this one, though, so a different atmosphere. Former Comets forward Huma Ging had one of the goals, but now Fabian Zetterland with his 17th goal of the season. He leads the team. It's the most he's ever had in an AHL year in his career. Then Alexander Holtz in period two speeds along the boards and scores. The game now tied at two, but the Comets give up a third goal quickly into the third period. One minute in, 59 seconds to be specific. Utica faces just its sixth regulation loss of the year, and it's the first regulation loss for goalie Akira Schmid's AHL career. He made 29 saves. The Comets return home on Friday to host Cleveland at 7. And in boys varsity basketball, a local TVL matchup between state-ranked New Hartford and Proctor. Zach Filipkowski getting things going up at the rim with a bang, and he led the team with 23 points. Then it stays a five-point game. Will Trela helping the Spartans keep that slight lead with a long three. He had 15 points. Proctor keeps it close still as they force turnover after turnover. Femi Amedi there with the hook shot tied the game at 15. The Raiders later take the lead on a three by Jerkel Henderson, but the Spartans go on a 29 to one run capitalized by that slam dunk as Philip Koski continues to make an impression. The junior on senior night as New Hartford wins at 71 42. In girls basketball, a rematch between West Canada Valley and Little Falls. The two played when they were both undefeated in January. It was an eight point win for the Mounties. Now the Mounties off to a quick start. They're still undefeated. That was Riley Dunn receiving the long pass. Nine point lead for Little Falls. Lydia Reimer then drives into the paint and goes up. She makes it a three point game and led her team with 14 points. Alexis Cress then gets the ball over to Kylie Cress and ends a long ball for three. Part of an eight point run. She had 17 points, her fifth game in a row in double digits. Olivia Lindsay led with 19 for the Mounties, and Little Falls keeps on winning. They're now 18-0. In high school volleyball, the Section 3 semifinals were tonight. Whitesboro pulls off the upset over ESM in five sets. This now sets up a rematch with undefeated New Hartford in the Class A finals on Saturday at Jamesville DeWitt. And Mount Markham remains undefeated. It's the Mustangs' 15th match in a row this season, winning three sets to none. Mount Markham plays in the Class C finals against Tully at Tully on Saturday in these championship games for Section 3. And the Olympics continue today. Snowboarding happened. Women's half-pipe finals. Chloe Kim wins gold. De uh, she defends her title. She actually had gotten the title and the gold for her first Olympics when she was 17 years old back in the 2018 Olympics in Pyeongchang. She now wins it again, now 21. And at 2 in the morning, if you're awake, cross-country skiing takes place. It's the women's 10-kilometer classic final. And at 8, 10 in the morning, men's ice hockey starts. It's the first game for Team USA against China. It's in the preliminary round. So for now, that's all for sports. But go check out cnyhomepage.com for all your top sports stories. And as always, there's more eyewitness news after the break. So stay friendly and stay tuned.